Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Simone. For those of you who are new, welcome. This is a channel that my husband and I run where we take you through our life on our 21 acre property and all of the things that come with that. So we're currently doing a lot of renovations, a lot of painting, a lot of outdoor stuff too. So if you want to follow along with us on our journey, definitely hit that subscribe button. But in today's video, I'm standing in front of the bathroom because today we are revealing the final look of the bathroom. It's been a long time coming. This has not been an easy project. Um, it's been a long project, but once you guys see the reveal, it is so worth it. Please excuse my nails. Wow. If you haven't seen the first three parts of the bathroom renovation video, make sure you go check that out because it really tells you everything that we've done to lead up to this final reveal. But in today's video, we're going to kind of do the final touches. So put the final fixtures on, decorate a little bit, and you know, all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So as you guys can see, the first thing that I did was reapply the globes to the light fixture. After all of the construction that we were doing, they got very, very dusty. So I took some of this glass cleaner and just cleaned them off before I put them back. And then I cleaned the mirror too, just to make sure everything was nice and polished. So the next thing that I needed to do was spray paint. So I'm taking the handles off. I actually never took them off since the vanity has been delivered. And I'm spray painting those a true black. They're Right now they're more of a bronzy color. And I'm also gonna spray paint the shower hooks. I couldn't find any shower hooks that were the exact match of the shower rod. So I'm just gonna spray paint them the same color. And like I said, I'm gonna spray paint the handles black. So that's what I'm doing here. it's time to hang the shelves for the life of me i could not figure out how i wanted these shelves so gerald and i took turns looking at the placements and we finally decided where we wanted them his arms got tired from me just looking at the placement so he drilled them into the wall and i think they turned out really nice and then we moved right along to hanging some of the fixtures so here we are hanging the towel ring and most of the fixtures in this bathroom are the Delta brand and this one was so hard to hang I think it's because I hit a stud but for the life of me I just could not get this screw in the wall so I called in Gerald to help out and he was able to get it in. shower curtain that I got as you can see it's extremely long so it was actually too long for this space so I took about an inch off and I just re-hemmed it after I trimmed that inch off with my sewing machine 
from Target as seen here um, I got some stuff from their dollar section really all around the store um, none of it was super expensive we're gonna do a little bit of styling so the first thing that I have so I got these from Target actually last year I already had these but we're repurposing them to this new and improved bathroom so I thought I would put them right here um, with the soap and I got something else that I'll show you guys in a sec so I'm just going to place these just, you know, something like that. And then this is really, ah, this is the star of the show here. I got this vase from the Goodwill and I had every intention to like spray paint it or like put plaster on it and then paint it like that to give it some texture. But I put it on the counter and it looks amazing with this new bathroom. So I'm just going to... I'm keeping it just like this. Um, and this cost $11 from the Goodwill, which is kind of pricey, but I've seen it at the Goodwill for a couple of trips now. So I figured it was, I was supposed to have it. So I bought it and we're just gonna put it right here. I think that's cute. Yeah. And the stems in it are from Amazon. And then from Home Goods, actually, so not from Target, got this soap. It's basic, basic soap, sand and fog, white vanilla. It went with the, you know, vibes in here. So I picked this up from Home Goods, and we're just gonna put it right here. I think that's cute. Now let's style the shelves. So we have this plant, we have this, whatever this is, container. We have this bin of or this container of q-tips we have a basket full of towels that i just put in here i thought this was so cute these towels were like two dollars and we have a candle that i've already had for a while but i'm going to turn it around because i don't want to see the words on it and then we have this vase of epsom salt and i got the vase from target and the epsom salt from target but I think this, I want to be in the center here. Yeah. And then I know I want this in the center as well. So I'm just going to put this here. And then I think this, it's kind of like going to the side a little bit, if you can tell. So I think this is a good side piece. So we're going to put it on this side. Cute. Okay. This is so simple. I'm a very simple person and I don't want to do too much on the shelf. So next we have this vase of Q-tips and I think a great spot is just right here. Yeah, I think that looks good. I actually pinned a few things on Pinterest as far as shelf styling goes. So I'm literally just kind of recreating what I already saw on Pinterest. And I like the simplistic look of the things that I pin. So I just tried to find those things at Target and just putting it up here. So next we have this and this. And I figured I would kind of couple these together to give some height variation. Um, I sound like I know what I'm doing. I don't. I'm just kind of winging it here. Um, but I think I'm going to put this here and put that there. Cute. And then the last thing I have is this vase of leaves from Target. I mean, there's only one more spot, so we're just going to put it right there. Cute! It's really cute. But I think I should switch this with this because there's a lot of greenery over here. So we're just going to do a little switcheroo here. Put this here. Better.
everything. I think it turned out so good. CJ, our contractor, our friend who owns Jack's Remodel did a fabulous job. So if you're in the Indiana area, definitely check him out. Um, I'll leave his contact info below. But anyway, he did such a good job. This project was definitely a labor of love. I'm not a designer and trying to pick out all the fixtures and everything was really hard for me. Um, I'm not great at making decisions, but I did it. I just tried to make everything cohesive. But anyway, the before and after is insane. Remember the carpet in the bathroom? Nasty carpet in the bathroom, ridiculous. That was literally the first thing that we, the first project, I guess you could say, that we did once we took possession of the house on, what was it, August 1st? When did we get it? I thought we took the possession. Because oh, July. yeah, possession. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, August yep. 1st. Drills behind the camera. But <laughs> it was just nasty. So that was the first thing that we did. We had no plans, like no vision of what we even wanted the bathroom to look like. But we just knew that carpet had to go. So, yeah, I, I figured we could just kind of walk through and take you through the bathroom and tell you where everything's from. And everything will be linked below as well if you're interested in any of the fixtures or finishings that we have in here too. So I'm on in. I think the first thing that we'll start with is the vanity um, because with the vanity, this was like one of the most expensive things. I mean, it's one of the biggest things as well, but with the vanity, we actually got it open box. So open box means that someone has bought it and they returned it for whatever reason. So now it's an open box and it's discounted. So we got the open box price, which is like half off. So we got a steal of a deal on it. But um, with the vanity, I really like the look of like natural oak. So that's the look I was going for. And this is really beautiful. Like I love the handles. Um, you guys saw we spray painted the handles black. They were more of a bronze color. So we spray painted the handles to be a true black to match with the mirrors. And we can talk about the mirrors now. So the mirrors came from Amazon. Really um, great mirrors. They look super expensive to me. Um, and I really like them. I really, I really like them. We went through a couple variations of mirrors because we had to get like the sizing right, you know, the proportions. And the first two mirrors were too skinny. So we got this. I think it's 27 by 40. It's linked below um, and the measurements are there, but this mirror is perfect for this vanity in this space. Let's move on to the faucets. The faucets are really beautiful. I actually saw someone else on Instagram have these in their bathroom. So really, I just wanted those because I saw them like in action in someone else's bathroom and I love them. They are the Delta Lahara style and I bought them on Amazon. So all of, well, most of the like fixtures in here are Delta Lahara or Delta Champagne Bronze. So this here, this towel rack is from Amazon as well. You guys saw we put that up. Um, the towel is from H&M Home, but uh, yeah, I love the look of the towel because it's just, it gives some texture. So yeah, that is the towel holder. I went back and forth between having like this hook one or just a simple like hook. <laughs> <laughs> and then this thing here, this setup, the trays are from Target. You know, we already talked about that. This is from Home Goods. We talked about that too. And then this here from Goodwill, steal of a deal. I really love it. I love the texture that it brings. It's a unique shape. I love the colors that are on it. And it really is just overall, it really centers kind of this space here that's kind of empty. And the stems are from Amazon. I like that you can make them look like what you want by just bending the stems or whatever. So I think those turned out really well. So moving along on this side, we're going to go up to the lights. The lights are from Wayfair and I really wanted something that would tie in, you know, the mixed finishes that we have. So we have a lot of black, 
we have a lot of the champagne bronze and I saw those on Wayfair and thought it really, you know, tied everything together. So went with those and I think they really turned out really good. I like the globe on it too. So really love those and they were kind of affordable. I got them on sale. You know, they always have a sale. So definitely check that out. And I don't know if I said this, but this vanity came from Wayfair as well. So moving further into the bathroom, I have this hamper here that is from Amazon and the hamper itself I think just brings a lot of texture to the space um, it gives some contrast between the vanity and obviously the toilet and yeah I just think it was it was just the right piece to go in this kind of void space here um, because the old vanity if you guys remember came out to like here ugly and it was about this this tall so it was super short I have no clue why it was so short but it was short and it was like very very long so we went with a 72 inch vanity and once again this hamper is just kind of filling the space here so it's a perfect piece to go there and then we're gonna come up and we have some shelves so Gerald hung these shelves and they're from Target and I thought they just went well with the vanity tied kind of the natural wood into the look and everything on here is target except for this candle that i already owned yeah i really like that we already kind of talked about everything that's on here but i really liked the simple look of shelf styling and i think we accomplished that so looks good we also got a new toilet i know some people kind of have a toilet phobia but this is a brand new toilet. We haven't even used it yet. So hopefully it doesn't bother you. But you know, I found out <laughs> that when buying a toilet, this toilet is kind of short or it's just kind of small. <laughs> okay. so, no, I said it's small. I'm talking about the toilet. <laughs> oh yeah, it's small, but we were not going to return the toilet. So it's fine. It, it does what it needs to do. So next is the toilet paper holder. It's the same Delta champagne bronze um, style as the towel holder next to the sink. So it just, you know, matches really well. And then we got some new trim for the window and painted the inside of it black to kind of, you know, contrast and match with everything else that we have black in the bathroom spray painted this to it was already gold but just gave it you know a new life with some spray paint we also have this little table here this table is from amazon and this diffuser is from home goods smells really good it just added some extra character to the space um and it's really simple which is kind of the theme here and then we have this extra long shower curtain that is from Amazon. Amazon, I mean, they just have everything, obviously. And I chose the white. I actually ordered the cream and the white, but the white just looked much better in this space. Like a waffle weave texture. And yeah, it just fills out the space really well. I wanted to do like floor to ceiling because I just felt like, you know, it could bring the eye up. And I had to actually hem it because they were extremely long i couldn't find the size that actually fit the space 100 percent. so i just used you know cut about an inch off the bottom and just rehemmed it with my sewing machine so yeah i think they look really nice and then we get to probably like one of the dras most drastic changes i should step in here huh oh <laughs> uh, this <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most drastic changes this is the shower and it just feels so big in here whereas i didn't i mean we didn't even take a shower in the first bathroom we never did we just used the other shower um but this looks really nice so this is the i forget what the tile name is but i'll link it below it's from home depot and if you guys are familiar with zalige I know I said this in another video, but this is kind of the most affordable version, in my opinion, of the Zalige. I got the tile on sale too, so maybe that's why. But yeah, I just love the color variation in the tile um, and just love, I really, really love how it turned out. 
And these are from Amazon. The labels are from Amazon. This has our body wash, um, shampoo and conditioner. So these can just stay here. And that's literally the only thing that we use. We don't use any other products. <laughs> so it's You open good. this mess up. <laughs> It's just gonna stay like that. So it looks really good. And following the Delta theme, all of these fixtures are Delta champagne bronze. They will be linked below as well. And they just really tie into this tile. I think the contrast of the gold or champagne bronze with the tile, kind of that neutral color, it just looks so good. So yeah. So coming to the end of the bathroom, we have these three towel hooks here and the towel matches the hand towel that we already saw that is from H&M Home and the hooks are from Home Depot. So the hooks look really nice and we actually had all three of these in one line uh, at first, but we wanted to give it a little bit of variation. So we added this one to be higher and I think it looks great. I really love it. I love these towels. I mean, the texture that it gives and just everything about it. I love it. That was Gerald's idea. So thank you, Gerald. That looks great. I forgot to tell you guys the wall color. That is a huge drastic change. Um, in the last video, we painted this together, but really the wall color, um, yeah, yeah, it just makes a huge difference. It really brightens up the space and just makes it look super clean and crisp and nice. So the wall color is alabaster from Sherwin Williams and yeah, really nice white if you're looking for, you know, a paint color. We really just like it a lot. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this final bathroom reveal. We absolutely love how it turned out. It's so much more bright, crisp, and clean in here than it was before. Dreary, dirty, and nasty. Um, so yeah, we hope you liked the video. If you did like it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And we will see you in the next video on Life at Promise You Acres.